Let's get it. Yeah. In a trap, I need every penny. I count every penny twice. I'm just that nice. Never bounce on the count. I've been down, I've been out. I bounce back. X5 outside. That's my day to day. I got a driver. He a cancer survivor. He said he quit because he's sick. I get shot at. I bulletproof the lack. He still wouldn't come back. Now 50 racks. It's worth it. I can't have my driver nerve. Fam. Times is hard and they're hard for everybody. So unfortunately, we have to sell her. Um, I mean, real talk, habits done caught up with me and I'm going through what I'm going through. Uh, <laughs> I'm bullshitting. Let's get it. Mm, I wouldn't sell my shit. Look, but we did want to show you the house though. A lot of y'all know I, I dibble and dabble in real estate, but y'all never quite got to see the house that I'm working on now. So let's go take a look. Come on guys. Y'all know how I love the narrations. So at this point, I'm just going to narrate through. I got to say, this is not the front yard that was here when we bought this goddamn house. Real talk, real talk. It was just all, it looked like dirt that was over there. We hauled in all the rock. We'll barrel them in. It was crazy. Uh, had a couple extra ones, so we stuck them on the side over here. <laughs> Look at my picnic table. We stuck them on the side over here against the a wall. We tried to kind of give it a little... Uh, 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 what do you call that? Curve, I guess. That's my picnic bench right there. We come out there in the summer in between the trees. We might throw some hot dogs on the grill real quick. Some fat boy shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at the bands. Look at the bands. But we ain't focused on the bands right now. We focused on the lawn. So I marked that little area out. We laid some grass seed down. It's very hard to grow grass down here in Pueblo, but we do give it a try. We try to grow something. So we had more rocks. So we brought them over here to this side of the house. That's the backyard kicking spot. That's my big tree. None of this stuff was here. This grass, man, none of this stuff was here. It was actually, I think it was a marijuana grove. We ain't for sure about that. But when we got here, the place had definitely been raided by the police. Now you see my wife's garden. These were toilets we actually pulled out of the house when we had rebuilt the bathrooms. Hopefully, y'all see that later. If we end up getting inside the house, you might see that. So that's my wife's little garden. She be out there. She thinks she got a green thumb. Her shit be delicious, though, man. Y'all might want to check that out, man. Shit is bomb. So this is the dog run. It looks really plain, man. I get that. But you got to understand, our dogs come back here. They got their own little secluded area, and they got a grill. Psst, they don't even be tripping. This is the new deck that I built. And I got to say, it actually has become my favorite place. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I want to show you all the inside of the house. That's right. So this is the kitchen. But I'm going to show it to you from a different angle. So let me go on ahead and change up a little bit. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh, Cody Bear. Okay, so let's go through the front door like we, we really supposed to. Man. Let's, let's keep it 100. Um, the door is a little bit dirty. We didn't have time to clean it, but we did have time to paint all this. We did hang the chandelier up there. We didn't hang it, but it was here when we got the house and we cleaned it. When you come up the stairs, you see the kitchen first, turn to the left, and you see the living room. Of course, it's staged. I like to keep it simple. Got the TV up on the wall, a little flower in the corner. And the mirror, y'all know it. And then you go into the dining room. Not too much, big huge swamp cooler, we do live in Pueblo. Two refrigerators, not one, but two. And then the counter. The counter, we actually installed ourselves uh, with the help of my boy, L.A. Ramon. You might want to look out for a site, I'll try to drop it in the link. New stove, and we also installed a microwave. <laughs> my bad. Anyway, when you go to the back rooms, uh, this is our little nest. Even though all the birds done flocked away, it's all good. They, they flying on their own now. Uh, I just put these closet doors up right here. And they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're not dragging on the carpet. Here's the bathroom that we built upstairs. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But got the classic Uber Ants colors. When you come out, you go into our spare bedroom. 
good nice little picture up there. You got the curtains that kind of fade from uh, uh, the light to the dark with a little sitting spot. I love it. That's uh, got the bed right there if you need to make some magic happen just in case. But then you pan left and you come into the master bedroom. I don't know why we watching the news. We never watch the news. It's just not a real thing in our house. Of course, I got a bunch of crap on my side of the bed and the big sliding glass door mirrors. Gotta have them, gotta have them. I know y'all see the imperfections in the walls. It's an old house. We actually brought it all back. They repaired the holes in the walls, not us. But you gotta deal with stuff like that when you have an old house. I do make music, guys. <laughs> Go check me out, all major platforms. So this is the downstairs bathroom, right? Uh, we actually rebuilt all this stuff. See the Uber Ants merch line, boy, don't miss that. We actually had to reframe that shower out. It was a job. Uh, this is actually the downstairs bedroom. We call it the blue room and our Satan's portal. Uh, we also put some glass mirrors up in here too uh, just because I like to see myself and then to the left of that is what we call the baby room this was gonna actually be the office but it's just too big oh that's a stool let me sit my ass down whoo man it is so hot in here yeah just calm down for a second back to work guys so what I'm trying to say is this is the smaller room. If you got a small toddler, this is going to be perfect. And we do hope that you enjoy this home as much as we did. Uh, we definitely loved it. So when you come out of here, you walk into the downstairs living room. Uh, this is the downstairs living room and uh, this is the office. It's actually split part office, part family room because we do like to kick it. This is where the magic happens with the YouTube shit. That's right, you see me editing out in real time. Uh, and then we got the little, ooh, don't forget the merch line, 719hip.com, don't forget. <laughs> then you come over here. I know you guys remember this part, this part right here. Yeah, this is where I do my, all my intros. Check it out. Yo fam, what's good? It's your boy. I know y'all love that shit, man. But we painted that wall just for y'all. Okay, we did not paint that wall just for y'all. But anyway, here's the laundry room. Uh, we did actually redo the whole laundry room. I don't know why I got to, I zoomed back on the camera, bruh. You're too close, can't even see anything. Jeez, take another look. So real talk, that concludes the tour of my home. That concludes the tour of my home. I hope y'all liked it, I hope y'all enjoyed it. As much as y'all enjoy my channel, if you don't know Uber Ants on YouTube, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, stick around for the long haul because I ain't going nowhere. We got some really interesting stuff coming up. I mean, you guys are not going to want to miss this. For real, for real.